welcome to MahindraGuru.com, the Brahmastra for Success. Here we are again for another set of ST discussion and the ST that we are going to discuss today is ST number 1 to 12, SBI Clerk Mains. As you know, we are going to discuss the main 20 questions of the ST. So let's start with the first set of questions today. The first set that we are going to discuss are the first 10 questions which are related to this reading comprehension. If you have read this particular comprehension before, you must be knowing what is given in the comprehension that is regarding the evolvement or the evolution of fishes. So, we are going to follow the same procedure again. We will go to the questions first, mark the key points, then we will come back to the passage. Moving forward to the questions. As the first question says, nearly how many years ago the first vertebrates started walking? Now in this particular question, if you go for the keywords over here are how many years you have to find that the vertebrates started walking? This is the key point for question number one. Moving to the next one, question number two, which reads, which of the following clearly describes tetrapods? Now the key point over here is tetrapods. We have to find that particular sentence in the passage which is a describing or talking about tetrapods. Moving to the next one, that is question number three. Which of the following is the best option for the second scientific reassessment of the transition? Now the key point over here is Second scientific reassessment. Second scientific reassessment. This is the key point for question number three. Moving to question number four, which asks, according to the passage, transition fishes are known as. Now, transitional fishes. This is the key point over here. I can see also one thing that uh, grabs my attention over here is all the five options which are given for this particular question are almost similar. The only difference that I see is in the spelling of the word. So what I have to do is whenever I come across this word in the passage, I have to note down its spelling, what that word is actually spelled like. Moving to the next one, question number 5, which asks which of the following is not true according to the passage. And for solving this particular question, you have to go through the passage very thoroughly. You have to read the passage, then only you will be able to answer it. Next question, that is question number 6. Again a question that is passage based where it has been asked which of the following is true according to the passage. And for this question again you have to read the passage very thoroughly. Moving to question number 7. Now there are 4 questions which are basically antonyms and anonym based or vocab based. So in these questions as you know we have to read that particular sentence where this word has been used. So the words that we are going to discuss today are understanding. The next one is evidence, next is reassessments and the last one is interpret. These were the 10 questions that you have to answer. Now what we are going to do is we have the key points, we are going back to the passage and skim out these key points out of that passage. Quickly moving back to the passage. Now if you read the passage a bit slowly this time, we, the passage particularly talks about the evolution of fishes. As you can see, our understanding of when fishes evolved into tetrapods, animal with a backbone and four limbs and began to walk on land needs radical revision. In this particular sentence, I find a keyword over here that is tetrapods. And it has been written about tetrapods that these are animals with a backbone and four limbs and began to walk on land. Now this particular thing is basically the description for tetrapods and that is a question of us. Moving to the next line, a study published recently in the journal Nature provides convincing evidence that the first vertebrates started walking nearly 30, 385 million years ago. Now in this particular sentence I again find a key point that is vertebrates started walking and that has been asked in a question and the answer is 385 million years ago. Moving further, about 18 million years ago, earlier than previously thought. So they thought it must have been evolved from this particular time, but the actual results were 18 million years back or earlier from that. There is already sufficient evidence that the land vertebrates evolved from which fish when the fins first became lobe shaped without digits. So what they did, they evolved from a fish to a lobe shaped thing that they had without digits in their fingers. So fishes with low fins are considered transitional forms that gradually developed into, gradu uh, into vertebrates with 
limbs. So there is another sentence that has been written about fishes. That they first they had lobe fins and they were considered transitional forms that gradually developed into vertebrates with limbs. The latest discovery: footprints of unknown creature. It was as long as 2.5 meters from rocks in a disused quarry. in south east poland confirms that the fish tetrapod transition theory is correct the footprint tra footprint tracks resemble the early tetrapod fossils if you see over here there is a, a reason behind the th fact ki why they think so these tetrapods are evolved from fishes because they matched the fossils they have earlier acquired the discovery has resulted in two major scientific reassessments of the transition now again something that i can see that is related to our key points Moving further to the next part of the passage, which reads: First, the age of the footprint tracks is 10 million years earlier than the oldest known transition fishes, called which are particularly known called as Elpistostegalians. Now, in this particular word, if you remember, we have seen a question where this word has been spelled five different times in different ways. Now, this is the word that you have to keep in mind: Elpistostegalians, and the spelling reads E L P I S T O. S T E G A L I A N S. This you have to keep in mind because this is a question. Such as tic tac rosé. This would mean that the transition from fish forms and those with limbs coexist for a certain period of time. It actually happened when this transitional fish, as well as those with limbs, they were concurrently living together simultaneously at the same time. The discovery highlights the fact that these. Epistostegalians were neither the early transitional form of fish vertebrates nor a short-lived transitional grade between fish and tetrapods. So they were neither transitional forms nor were they any intermediary transition grade between the fish and tetrapods. These were a completely different species. They were at best given as late surviving relics rather than the direct transitional form. To quote the editorial summary in Nature. Secondly, the discovery builds a strong case of reassessing in the environment setting of the transition. The impression that the transition took place in seasonally flood environments it has also been discarded because of reason because this particular summary was not found valid. The footmarks which were tracked studied in Poland are from rocks formed in a marine environment. It was not a river flooded environment. It was a marine environment, a tidal flat environment, and a lagoon. According to the authors of the study published in Nature, as it has been published, an intertidal environment would have provided a ready food source twice a day. As you know, these tides occur very uh, frequently, twice a day at times, and of course, it provides the food for this particular creature or this organism. Moving further, as it has been written, although no body fossils of the tetrapods are seen in the quarry rocks, the discovery suggests that any further search for body fossils should be in such marine environments. As they have discovered this particular fact, it is not related to river flooded areas. They were uh, more over found in marine environments, and the further work should be done in this particular environment only. Footprint tracks in the absence of body fossils are difficult to interpret with full confidence. The reason is because these footprints, which have been tracked in the absence of body fossils, are difficult to interpret. They have got the footprints of this particular organism, but not a complete body fossil, which does not provide them with the full confidence that it is that particular organism. The footprint tracks highlight the fact that the fossil recording, the early stage of vertebrate evaluation, are missing. The study cautions. that the timing of the fish tetrapod transition is best regarded as uncertain it is still uncertain a vague expression which cannot be very sure of the evolutionary tree of early tetrapods will be sketchy as long as the gap remains unfilled exactly what they meant was that if this particular gap is not being filled with any other information this thing is always going to be uncertain Now, as we have read the passage properly, thoroughly on that, if we go to the questions now, answering them would get a bit easier. So, moving to the first question, which was nearly how many years ago the first vertebrates started walking, and now you can easily mark the answer. That is. Zero one three eighty five million years ago, as we have read. The other options are completely out of range. That is three point eight five, thirty eight point five, three o five, or three eighty million years ago. So for this question, the answer I'm going to give is number one. That is three eighty five million years ago. 
Next question, question number two, which was, which of the following clearly describe tetrapods? Now, if you remember, in the first passage, we had a description of tetrapods, which said that these are animals with backbones and limbs. So now we are going to mark that particular option over here. That is option number five. Here it is written animals with a no bone, of course not applicable. Animals with a backbone and two limbs. That is again not applicable. Animals with a backbone and eight limbs, such creatures did not live at the time. Animals with four limbs only, but no specification about the backbone. The last one is the appropriate sentence. So, uh, option for this question is option number five. Moving further, that is question number three. Which of the following is the best option for the second scientific reassessment of the transition? If you read the three sentences given to you, A, B and C, sentence A reads, the discovery builds a strong case for reassessing the environmental setting of the transition. Now, this is a thing that I have read already in the passage. The second one says, the footprint tracks resemble the early tetrapod fossils, which has not been mentioned in the passage because they said that these footprints does not resemble or were not, they were not very sure about this fact it belonged to that tetrapod only. No fossils were acquired. And the sentence C says, there is already sufficient evidences that land vertebrates evolved from fish when the fins first became lobe shaped without digits. Again, a thing that is a bit dubious about here that do they have sufficient evidence? Now, if you go through the options, there is only B, only A, only C. All A, B and C, A and B. Out of these five, I find the second one to be the most appropriate, that is only a. So the answer for this particular question is number 2 that is only A. Moving to the next question that is question number 4. According to the passage transitional fishes are known as. Now as you remember we have been talking about the spelling of this particular word that was elpistosegalians and if you go through the spelling that you have written that is E-L-P-I-S-T-O S-T-E-G a L I A N S and this is the appropriate spelling that is number three. The Elpistostigalins. So the number or the word particular over here is number three. Moving further to question number five. Which of the following is not true according to the passage? You have to read the uh, sentences now, read the options, properly read them, consider them and then answer. Only after that. The first question particular sentence reads. Our understanding of when fishes evolved into tetrapods, animals with a backbone and four limbs and began to walk on land needs radical revision. If you remember, this sentence is the first sentence of your passage. If you move further to the second one, the discovery has resulted into two major scientific reassessments of the transition. Again, I think that has been given in the passage. Number three reads, the evolutionary tree of every tetrapod would be sketchy as long as this gap remains unfilled. If it remains unfilled, it would be a bit dubious. Again, I think that this is the last line of your passage. Number four, the footprint tracks resemble the early tetrapod fossils. And number five, fishes with low fins are considered transitional forms that gradually developed into vertebrates with mouth. Now there is something that doesn't sound correct to me that is vertebrates with mouth. While what we have read in the passage is vertebrates with four limbs. Something is odd about the sentence and definitely not true. So my answer for this particular question is number five. Fishes with a lobe fins are considered transitional forms that gradually developed into vertebrates with mouths. That is wrong. Moving further, question number six, which of the following is true according to the passage? The evolutionary tree of early tetrapod will be sketchy as short as this gap remains unfilled. Now, in this particular sentence, there is a dubious expression used that is as short as which cannot be used. So, definitely this sentence doesn't sound appropriate to me or true to me. The next one is... Our understanding of when fishes evolved into tetrapods, animals with four limbs and began to walk on land needs radical revision. This is a particular thing. Again, we are talking about whom? Fishes evolved into tetrapods, animals with four limbs but no specification about backbone that has to be made. The discovery has resulted in three major scientific reassessments of the transition. If you have read the, if you have read the passage properly, you must be knowing these were two scientific reassessments, not three. 
Moving further, fishes with low fins are not considered transitional forms that gradually developed into vertebrates with limbs. Now, in this particular sentence, if you see there is one thing written that they are not considered transitional forms. And as you have read this in your passage, this sounds correct to me because I have read, read this sentence in the passage. The last one says, the study cautions that the timing of the fish tetraprod transition is best regarded as uncertain. So, the answer for this particular question is number 4. Moving further to the next one, that is question number 7. And now this is a vocab based question where you have been asked which of the following is most similar in meaning to the given word that is understanding. If you are talking about understanding something, now this word can be best expressed by which of the following options. The five options that you are given are intolerant, unaccepting, misinterpretation, disbelief and awareness. Now you have to find the similar word. Understanding sounds a bit of positive word to me. And if I go through these particular options, the first one is intolerant. That can be biased or that can be person who is not willing to tolerate something. That is uh, biased or prejudiced. Okay. Now this is definitely not related to understanding. The next one is unaccepting who is not willing to accept. Third one is misinterpretation. Another negative word. And fourth one is disbelief. A thing that is not believed on. While the five... Uh, your yeah, fifth option we see that is awareness and that's positive somewhat related to understanding so the synonymous word to understanding over here is awareness according to me and the answer is answer number five that is awareness moving further that is question number eight and again the question asks which of the following options is the most similar to the word evidence evidence as you know it means proof and this particular word has been given in the options but you can't be very sure that exactly this is the word if you go through the rest of the options that is contradiction that is to be contrary against something just opposite disproof completely autonomous to end on uh, evidence or proof misreport another negative word and refutation that is to reject or deny refusal so of course the only positive word which seems similar to evidence over here is proof and that is the answer for our question. So, the answer for question number 8 over here is proof for me. Moving to question number 9. Which is the most opposite meaning of the given word? Reassessments. When you are talking about reassessments, again a positive word and the words which are given to you are appraise, assess, evaluate, evaluate or refuse. If you go through these options as well as you go through the question, you have been asked for the opposite of the word reassessments. And the words are appraise, appraise, then assess, somewhat similar to assessment, evaluate, again a similar meaning to assessment, and evaluate, almost similar to it. So the only option that is antonymous to this word seems refused to. So the uh, answer for this particular question from my part is number 5, that is to refuse. Moving further to the last question of this segment, that is, which is the most opposite meaning of the given word, interpret. Now, interpret is to deduce out or to interpret something out of a content. Now, what you are given is five options, which reads, misunderstand, second one is construe, third one is decipher, fourth one explain, and fifth one is explicate. And if you have to find the opposite, it should be opposite to misinterpret or to deduce out. Now, the words over here, misunderstand is basically something not easily interpreted. Construe shows interpretation or deduce uh, out something. Decipher is the same. Explain and explicate are synonymous words. So, the option that suits well over here is option number one that is misunderstand. The most important, the correct option here, the most suitable option for this question is number one, misunderstand. Moving to the next segment of our ST, that is sentence rearrangement. Again, a tricky one, but a bit simple to solve this time. If you read all the sentences properly, thoroughly, you will be very easily able to arrange it. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to read these sentences, thoroughly consider them, and then arrange them in a passage which is completely meaningful. Now, reading the first sentence which says, which started at four points, half marathon for men and women started from ground A. Now, this sentence starts with which, definitely not our introductory one. Which it is over here in this particular sentence has been used as a relative pronoun, definitely used for a noun and that noun has to be found in this particular paragraph. 
This year's theme for the event was to create an anemia free world. Now this year's theme for the event, we are talking about a certain event, which event are we talking about? That is not clear. So of course, another sentence that cannot be introductory in nature. Hundreds of students and general public enthusiastically participated in the marathon. Now this sentence seems to be introductory to me because we are talking about a certain marathon that has been participated by general public as well as hundreds of students. And we have been talking about a certain event over here. This can be that event which has been talked about in the passage. So according to me, if we start the passage with C, moving further the sentence D starts, says dignitaries led walk and walk differently abled persons started at ground b now something similar between sentence a and sentence d they're talking about the position the starting position of different events they here they were talking about half marathon for men and women here they are over here they're talking about walk and walk differently able persons these two events have been started from ground a and ground b respectively somewhat nearby sentence Sentence E reads, the marathon organized by a non-government organization had six different events. Now again we are talking about the marathon that has six different events and those events can be these ones. Moving further to the last sentence which says mini marathon another event that has been mentioned from college A walk for a cause started from college B. Another sentence which somewhat similarized to these two that is A and D. Now if I start arranging this particular passage, I can easily do that. When I start with C, I see hundreds of students and general public enthusiastically participated in the marathon. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm relate this word marathon to this sentence where it reads the marathon organized by a non-governmental organization at six different events now we have introduced events over here now what we are going to do is enlist these events after that so starting with six different events which started at four points we're talking about six events definitely they must have started from different points individually and that is which started at four points starting with the first event half marathon for men and women started from ground a moving next here we were talking about half marathon now we have two options first is dignitaries led walk and walk and mini marathon so moving further mini marathon from college a walk for a cause started from college b that is until now we have arranged till c e a f now two sentences that you are left with one is sentence d which says dignitaries led walk and walk differently abled person started at ground b and this last one or one sentence that is left is this year's theme for the event was to create an anemia free world now this particular sentence is talking about the event so while this is talking about the aim or the reason of these events why they have been started so accordingly we'll arrange d first and then after that b here you are with your arrangement for the passage that is c e a f d b Moving further to the last section of our ST, there's phrase replacement today. As you all know, you are provided with a complete sentence. In this particular sentence, a certain segment has been highlighted. I've highlighted it using underline section. Now, what you have to do is, out of the four given options, one, two, three, and four, you have to find that particular option on replacement, which improves the sentence. And if you find the sentence completely correct, what you have to do is mark the fifth one, that is no improvement. Starting with question number 16 that says running regularly not just helps one shed the extra weight, it also does wonders for the mind claims a new study. In this sentence we have been talking about a study, a new study that claims that running regularly not just helps one shed the extra weight, it helps in shedding weight as well as it also does wonders for the mind. And the highlighted part is running regularly not just helps. As you can see, the expression running regularly is singular and accordingly a singular verb helps has been used. Nothing seems wrong to me in this particular part. So, if we go through the options that have been provided, running regular not just helps, no, regular over here is an adjective while the word that should be used should be an adverb. Running regularly not just helped, no need to make the sentence in past as it runs in present tense. Running seldom not just helps. No need to incorporate seldom over here. 
रनिंग रेगुलरली जस्ट हेल्प अब यहाँ पर नॉट इफ वी इनकॉर्पोरेट द वर्ड नॉट और इफ वी एलिमिनेट द वर्ड नॉट आउट ऑफ यर इट इज गोइंग टू यू जस्ट हेल्प एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस वुड बी मीनिंगलेस सो नो इम्प्रूवमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड ओवे एंड द आंसर फॉर मी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इज नंबर फाइव दैट इज नो इम्प्रूवमेंट Moving for the question number seventeen, the question is: The scientists examined brain tissues taken from the rodents, found that the running mice had grown fresh grey matter during the experiment. In this particular sentence, the highlighted part says: The scientists examined brain tissues. Now, it could have been correct if we were not talking about these scientists further. We are talking about the scientists, and definitely the four options which you are given, which you are given with are the scientists who examine brain tissues, the scientists that examine brain tissues, the scientists which examine brain tissues, and the scientists who examine brain tissues. That is obviously pops out. The correct option is number one, which says the scientists who examined brain tissues. As we are talking about the scientists in the sentence, that is our subject. So the correct option for question number seventeen for me is number one. That is the scientists who examined brain tissues. Moving further, question number eighteen. It, re it reads: Synthetic muscles can restore the ability of patients with facial paralysis to blink. Potentially benefit thousands can't shut their eyelids eyelids due to stroke, nerve injury, or facial surgery. If you see the highlighted part, that is can't shut their eyelids. and if you read the sentence as a whole synthetic muscles can restore the ability of patients with facial paralysis to blink potentially benefiting thousands dash can't shut there is a dash that seems an appropriate to me something must be written over there and if you go to the options the options are that can't shut their eyelids who can't shut its eyelids those who can't shut their eyelids who can't shut eyelids now there are two options which seem appropriate to me those are number 2 and number 3 who can't shut eyelids definitely a sentence that cannot be used because we are talking about people who cannot shut their eyelids and the number 1 says that can't shut their eyelids that cannot be used over here the two option that seems appropriate to me can be who or those who now in this sentence we are talking about patients not a single patient and if the word is plural it definitely cannot be used so the appropriate option for me is number 3 the answer for question number 18 is number 3 those who can't shut their eyelids if you read the sentence now it would sound completely appropriate and proper to you synthetic muscles can restore the ability of patients with facial paralysis to blink potentially benefiting thousands those who can't shut their eyelids due to stroke nerve injury or facial surgery Moving further, question number nineteen that says, for people with other types of paralysis, the use of artificial muscles could someday mean regaining the ability to smile or control the bladder. In this particular sentence, the highlighted part is someday mean regaining the ability to smile or control. When I read the sentence, it sounds almost appropriate to me. And if I go through the options which have been given, someday mean regain the ability, regaining the ability should be there. some they mean regain the ability another thing which cannot be appropriate some they meaning to again something that doesn't sound appropriate to me and some they mean to regain the ability again the problem is c so the sentence sounds completely appropriate to me no option fits better than the given one so the answer for this particular question question number 19 is 05 that is no improvement required moving to the last question of our st and this segment Question number twenty, which reads: An international team believes that a link to viral infection could explain why appendicitis appeared to be more common in certain years and during the summer, but it has not been able to identify the mystery virus. If you see the highlighted part, that is appeared to be more common in certain years. And if you read the whole sentence as a whole, you can see there are two different verbs used. One is believes, other one is. a period one is in present the next one is in past and this should not be made in the such way that two different tenses have been used in the same sentences without any use of conjunction any such connector so either believes should be changed or appeared should be changed the option that we can use is appeared now go to the options over here appear to be more common 
appears to more common in certain appears to be more common in certain years appears to appear to be more common in certain years and appears to be more common in certain years the only appropriate one that i find appropriate according to the sentence is number 4 so the correct option or so the correct answer for question number 20 where is number 4 appears to be more common in certain years now if you read this particular sentence again as a whole an international team believes that link of viral infection could explain why appendicitis appears to be more common in certain years and during the summer but it has not been able to identify the mystery virus that was all for today thanks for your patience stay healthy keep happy download our mg app that's mahindra guru app or you can go to our youtube channel and subscribe thank you